Okay, go ahead and hold this for me. Now we're going to move on to the other labia minora. And you can see, see how much puffiness we have. That's supposed to happen. I just always emphasize that about another hundred times. And you always tell your patient too, I advise you to have your patients take a look before they leave. One, two, three, cough. <coughs> you have them take a look before they leave the office so that they don't go home and go, oh my gosh, that is literally the opposite <laughs> of what I wanted. Because it's not, it's just what we do to put the anesthesia in. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <coughs> This side will be a little easier than the other side, just because it's a little easier to retract this side. Okay, now we'll give that a minute, and then we're going to go ahead. Wait, one for that one, too. Okay. We're going to put our two medicine back in. So see how much easier we made it on ourselves by not having to go back and draw it, go back and yeah. draw it. We just have it ready. One, two, three. And here we go, try and retract as you inject. Stay close to the surface. See how this side's a little easier, it's infiltrating even more easily. There we go. And just retract back. You doing okay, honey? Just yeah. leg, leg twitch? Okay. And again, you just remind the patient again, okay, this is how this is supposed to look. Now you leave it sit a minute. Never be, I would say one tip, which is hard for myself even to follow, let your anesthesia do its work. You don't need to rush. You don't need to plow ahead. Let your anesthesia do its work and your patient will be more comfortable and the procedure will go better. So we're gonna do that, hold our spot like we do. Put the little needle here, one, two, three. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we're just gonna leave that there a minute. And we'll be ready. Oh, and see, I was almost forgetting. Let's put a little okay, more ultrasound gel. I feel like we're getting a little low. Need a leg stretch? Offer your patients a leg massage if you need to. Would you like one, honey? Oh, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I got one. <laughs> we just want to take care of you. Okay. Yeah, every now and then let your patient stretch, flex their foot. Now we are going a little slower than we usually do for the purposes of the instructional video, which our patient's been very gracious in letting us doing, and we are very appreciative. So thank you. We appreciate Now remember, your labia majora is a small space, and the energy builds up quickly, so make sure you're being mindful of how much energy you're putting in, and make sure you have an assistant with you so that they can tell you exactly when you reach that boundary. Okay. Get very quick for the menorah. All right, now we're gonna move on to our clitoral hood. So here's the thing to keep in mind with the clitoral hood, okay? Your base of your clitoris is right here. This is where that dorsoclitoral nerve comes in. Do not inject here. Don't manipulate here because you could run the risk of actually causing nerve damage for your patient. I'm sure none of us wants to do that. No. So you're going to actually come anteriorly to the clitoris here. Here's our little injection site. One, two, three. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's a squeezy one. No doubt. Okay, let's just get the other one over with. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Doing good, you're doing good. Almost done, honey. Okay, perfect. All right, same protocol. We're not varying. We're sticking to what we know. One, two, three. <coughs> Ooh. I'm gonna leave that there for a second, and we're gonna get our two mess in there too. Okay. Now, angles get a little bit awkward here, but it is really essential to come anteriorly and go downwards. Then you are literally not allowing even yourself a chance to get too close to this nerve. So that's just my recommendation and what works. Can you slide your hands? <laughs> Do you want some more spots? Oh, no, we've got this nice top here. 
So little things I do during the procedure to remind myself to not rush, you know, actually make sure I'm turning and actually wiping my hands in between and replacing my needle so that you're not putting your steps so close together that the patient doesn't get a chance to be comfortable. We don't want that. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Her skin's a little tougher. There you go. Really expanding that hood there. But we're doing it safely and not near the nerve. Even less energy as far as the clitoral hood. One, two, three. <coughs> Stay superficial, obviously. One, two, three. <coughs> See how I needed to go a little farther in there to make sure that I was actually expanding at the hood where I wanted to. And see our patient's comfortable. She's stretching right now, so we're we're doing good. There we go. Oh, sleepy. Look comfortable. Sleepy's good. Sleepy's good. Oh good, you have one more. He likes sleepy. Right. Oh, okay. okay, so now we've extended our clitoral hood. Now we're gonna do side by side here. One, two, three. <coughs> and you'll make sure you clear out any epidural respiratory issues that you <laughs> have by having them do so many coughs. <laughs> Let's not forget our ultrasound gel here. And then wipe your hands. <laughs> because that's part of this. All right, clitoral hood, and then we're on to the pubis, and then we're going to be done. One, two, three. Gel here. Thank you. All right, one, two, three. I'm being very careful not to be treating within like a centimeter of my exit. Now 
where I'm looking. I think we don't want to go all the way up here. I think I want to go just to about here, honey. Because it's your skin is pretty flat there. It's not really overhanging much. We I can just farted uh, again. That's right. That just means you relax. <laughs> can I see what else? Absolutely. Right? <laughs> That's why we make you look. Made you look, so to speak. You okay? Whoa. <laughs> right? And that's all that nice anesthesia so that you're laying there stretching and farting instead of being in pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. How are your legs? Do you need to stretch your legs or, or anything? Uh, no, I'll be good. You're sure? Yeah. Okay. Now, do we still want to treat up in here or do you feel like now that we've covered this that you don't need to? Uh, let's do it. All right. I just go like to, in, right? I'm a checker. All or nothing. <laughs> Apricots for breakfast was not the way to go. <laughs> well, see, and that's the other good thing. They don't really have to restrict or eat a certain amount. <laughs> I actually tell patients to eat a light meal beforehand because you don't want to get light have any kind of anesthesia and then get like apricots more. and eggs, though, right? God. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> and then this will be our last area. And then this patient is opting to do a Morpheus remo a final remodeling after this. And we can show you that as well. One, two, three. <coughs> when is that? Um, is that today or is that scheduled for a different day? Is that same day? Oh, no, same day. Same day? Okay. You don't have to come back and forth. Oh. That's a quickie, quickie, quickie. And what you is that one? So the Morpheus is where we use our little phaser gun. Uh-huh to add additional energy to the first three millimeters underneath the skin uh -huh. for more tightening, more contraction, more skin contraction. I'm down with it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. like, mm-hmm. Oh, you're yeah. here, you're comfortable. I'm you not might getting well any get younger. Done. Let's do it. Not getting <laughs> any younger. <laughs> so funny. One, two, three. <coughs> there we go. Now, this pressure is really strange about around the pubis here. Oh, gosh. You're going to be like, I've got... Elephant pubis, <laughs> and that's okay. Sometimes it might make you, weirdly, it might make you a little queasy up here as opposed to down below, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you'd think this would be like less sensitive. But. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And see, we're able to move because we've got her numb. Make sure I get quivering. You okay? Oh, yeah. I'm Just good. leggies. Yeah. You know how we ask like a thousand times, so. No, no, I don't think I get the that. other side. My I'm legs are doing that. I have I it over in. with and then One, stretch two, after. Three. Right? Stretch after. Okay. <clears throat> well, you never want to, you know, act like we're not checking on you. Another one. One, two, three. <coughs> <coughs> Shouldn't be so bad. Okay. Remember, always have a good awareness. Try to keep your tray neat as much as possible. One, two, three. <coughs> Remember, every entrance that you're making, be more horizontal. You want to stay in that subalveolar tissue. You don't want to be diving down. You don't want to be doing a 90 degree angle. No, nothing like that. You pay attention to your anatomy. One, two, three. <coughs> And you can see by how the skin reacts that you're in the right spot. Change out a little bit here. I usually, for most patients, especially she, since she got all areas treated, I use five of these 30 ml syringes of the tumescent. And then we're going to end up just about right, which is a good thing. That was it. That was a not numbed part yet. There we go. Better? Yeah. Ish. I just like, mm mm. <laughs> it will be. You got me on that one. So, does it all kind of start going down all at once? Like, yes. the final result? So, or it's is it like, like, it's so. One area at oh, a time, or everybody's different. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you meant like the swelling no, going not down. The so sorry, not the numbing. Okay. Um, so yeah, things change at different rates. Mm -hmm. You know, the smaller areas you might notice sooner. 
than the bigger areas because of course there's more skin to modify, right? Yeah. So, makes sense. Let that work a minute. I did drop a sponge just for counts, guys. Okay. So we're going to treat our last area here. One, two, three. <coughs> it, does she really need to do the cough at this point? No, because I've got her numb. But it's just good practice. So then the times that you do need it, you're not going to forget. We're going to really recoat this up here. Now this ultrasound gel, I didn't explain this earlier, but it also helps as far as the heat sensation on the skin surface, because obviously you don't want to burn anybody. This helps with that. And helps prevent just generalized irritation as well. Okay, ready for our last area? And again, add yourself a little retraction. This tends to be a little bit easier just because of angles. And again, still being careful to not, what happened? Yeah, that was really Talk cool. to me. What did you feel? That was sharp. I don't know. Okay. That's bad. Is this better? That's better. Yeah. Okay. So what happened there is that we probably went about a centimeter beyond where the anesthesia was. So I'm going to be more mindful of that. Is it getting better? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little tough there. Better? Yeah. Okay. So it skin's a little tougher up here. I think my body's still on my guard now. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We got you. Where are we at? Just one. What's our goal? Um, one to one and a half each side. want to aim for this central tissue right in here because here is the area where you might get the most overhang. Was that okay? Yeah. She's anticipating like okay every time she moves <laughs> and I don't blame her. Where are we at honey? Point two. Like, I can't even, like, hold in it. I'm going to do the point five because she doesn't need a lot of retraction. I don't want to over-retract and then pull her clitoral hood so anterior that she's like, you know, up to her belly button. We don't want to do that. <laughs> we don't need that. We don't need that. One, two, three. Okay. <coughs> we are almost done. Do you want me to restart it or just keep going to one? Mm -hmm. You can restart it, okay. just so we calculate them separately. So 
like what happened to us on the other side, you want to be careful that you don't go beyond where you see your tumescent bulge. This is the part, if any, that the patient might get the most bruising because you have all those little tiny vessels in the sub Q up here. Because, you know, we're all like always chagrined that, you know, any place where we have any fat has a lot of vessels. <laughs> So that is the end of our lady patient. Now she's got no incisions, nothing that we need to put a dressing on. Um, and we give every patient a goodie bag with some Arnica tablets, which is like a natural anti-inflammatory, a reusable cold pack that they put not directly against their skin, but like with a cloth and then put that on there. Also some dermoplast, should they have any pain. And some witch hazel pads just to keep things clean. And that's our lady plasty. How are you feeling, honey, still good? Great. Woohoo! <laughs>